Let's head to bed. Wake up in the morning. Head to school. It's 5 a.m. Let's head to school now. Unlock the car. Walk the bitch up. Joint. Now, what in the hell is the meaning of this? this massive oil splotches all over the ground. Triple three traffic. Southeast down here. Your uh, back of your car is normal. Thinking, oh, y'all mind if I step out now? Yeah, absolutely. Come here. What? What is going on here? Oh, good lord! Well, that there ain't is. is enough oil here for America to invade. <laughs> to get that taken care of. Alright, man. Just, just up ahead. No, sir. No, sir. You'll do, Mr. Hyam. 
Emergency situation, sir. Hate to make a mess all over your floor, but I have no other choice. She's a Plymouth Fiore, 58. Parts for her are rare. I can leave her overnight. Use the keys. My name is Paul Red. I'll be back tomorrow morning for the car. If she ain't ready, just let me know. All right, how may I contact you? If it's oh. ready. My phone isn't in service. I'll be back tomorrow morning. All right. <laughs> Y'all have a good day now, yeah? God bless. The oil trail. I just got some weird, told some weird story about this car. That guy in the dirt bike. I don't know if it's true. I just wanted to, you know, pass it through you. That guy said he works at some junkyard or something. This car started attacking him. Probably some druggie telling me something, but I don't know. Did the car attack you? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's what I said. Some druggie told me some story. That guy in the bike, he's probably crazy. I don't know. Don't listen to people that don't even know. What did that guy say to you to fix this car up? How did he say you had to fix it up? This is the druggie I was talking about. <laughs> uh, all he's told me is just, he wants a car fixed by tomorrow morning. If it's not ready, he let me know later. What? What's the man? This car's not an ordinary car. It attacked me and my buddies last night at the junkyard. What are you saying? This is like some type of like, uh, God, what's that movie called? Christine or something? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes! What are you on about? Yes, but I know it was, I know it's. It is, man. At least, let me just say, stay here and anything happens. Well, just stay in here. How is this guy gonna do his job? I'll stay in the other room over there. I want you to fucking rip the guts out of this thing. Uh, I got it, I got it. Open the, open the, open the, the hood. hood, open the hood. Pop the latch. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. This truck's on fire. Yep, I'm out of here. <laughs> that truck did not stand a chance, dude. Oh my god, that car's <laughs> Oh, that dude just got fired. Oh, they got a bear cat chasing it now. Hmm. Oh, that bear cat can't see there's so much dense smoke. A lot more cops coming. What is the freaking wheels are on fire? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look. 
Since bullets don't work, give up. There's nothing you uh, the can do. Lost the car, lost Christine, he has no idea where she went. There's nothing the you can do. Since Christine, bullets don't kill it. And um, even gone. if you you can carry a rocket rocket launcher, it can easily fix itself. So there's no point. These aren't just old tales. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just give up. up Let it kill me. If it wants to kill me, so be it. I'll just give the fuck Clear. up.
I just love how I'm doing a cool cinematic shot. This freaking EMS dude is limping back to his station. All right, gentlemen, let's go. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to have the car follow Mr. Miller. And once it follows him, we're going to lead it down here. We're hopefully going to get it to go off the cliff, maybe do a little bit of damage. At that point, we're going to have our bulldozers box it in. Once they do, well, gentlemen, you have authorization to smash, crash, and bash. Destroy. It's gonna have time to escape, so I would block off any exits that it has. All right, Dozer team, you're gonna be here. Engines off, lights off. Don't make any movements. All right, Miller, let us know. Okay.
goes up for a cigarette. Attention all teams, all teams. Target neutralized. I say again, target neutralized. That's what Ooh. die fit. Didn't go exactly the plan, but at least we got it. No such thing as going exactly the plan. That's what they think the target is neutral. Oh, Get a fine job out there, gentlemen. Mr. Miller, sir. It will come himself. back. Save the lives of many. For that, you'll be honored forever. I'm glad I'm not dead. Aren't we all? Alright, gentlemen. It Let's will back the station. come sure. back at some point. A waste of taxpayer dollars. FBI tech teams will begin to dispose of the vehicle shortly. Everyone, RTB. Do some fine work out there today, gentlemen. Christine never dies. It will be back at some point. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my second channel, GNW, where I up. Let's head home, head to bed, wake up in the morning for school. Actually, what trip in my car? Why not? Okay, Let's unlock this, go to bed, 5 in the morning, lock this car. Kill here, dog. There's a variety of different games on there. Go subscribe to that channel now, and I'll see you guys next time. What else should I watch? What else should I watch? Fuck off. Hi, Otis. Fuck off. Let's have a join. Chris is completely alone in the building and has no idea what he has just captured on camera. He only noticed the figure when reviewing his footage later. So what do you huh. think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. No. 
You can find more of Chris's amazing urban exploration no. and occasional possible paranormal Absolutely encounters. Absolutely not. Oh. Absolutely not. That is what that shit was. Hell no. Over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Fuck off, Ad. Weird World. A segment where all the very strange videos go. First up, a man named Corey says that he works the night shift and arrived home late one night to find his large dog cowering in the kitchen. Curious to see what it upset his poor dog, Corey checks his security footage. The CCTV captured something that Corey just can't explain. Huh. Fuck you! I saw him smack him. That dog brave as shit. I'd have got out of there the first time. Doug is a fucking pussy. I can tell you that. The dog is a fucking pussy. <laughs> Expect it did not 
Huh. A static camera records all of the action as the experiment suddenly takes a terrifying Let's have another join. I'm fucking hungry. Uh, yeah. I mean, he can pay my rent, my car, my cars, but like... Let's pause it. Let's head to the cafeteria. Let's ask the security guard where is the cafeteria at. I'm new to the school. You know what I mean. Hey, uh, do you know where is the cafeteria at? Yeah, down the... Down the... Cool, thanks. Well... That wasn't helpful, but okay. Down there, like where? Well, you know, I'm always telling losers it's never too late to become who you really are. Blah blah blah. Bitch. That show is a mix. <laughs> Yo, he's a cunt. Bitch. Hopefully the cafeteria is in here. That, the pito is good. That is the cafeteria area. Okay, now I know for next time. Get up. Hit me. Hit me. Pussy. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Bitch ass! Bitch! Bitch, get up, pussy. Surprise, motherfucker. Get up. I'm gonna break your face. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Dumbass. Hit me. Oh. Bitch ass. Stay down. Stay the fuck down. 
if you know what I'm good for you. Another day in Los Angeles. Great. Another day of Los Angeles. Press play, which, which was this hey, one. Welcome back to episode 256 million of Skyrim Mods Weekly. That's has just released Skyrim for the 18th time through the form of the anniversary edition, which marks the 10 year uh, birthday of Skyrim, which actually could make this game older than some of you who are currently watching this video, which is absolutely terrifying. But you know what's even more terrifying? The only difference is apparently a new fishing mini game. Not like they're like, you know, already <clears throat> 70 of those mods available on the Nexus, and 500 Creation Club mods included. Not like, you know, there are millions of mods uploaded to the internet every day in which you can actually download for free and feel more accomplished when you actually create your own custom game and not something that's been made for the mass population. I'm gonna guess that out of the 500, none of them include titty mods as nice as these babies. So you get what I'm saying? I can show you a world of mods that Bethesda would never ever give you in any pack ever released in a million years. You want some mods, kids? Well, let's get into it. Let's start off with an absolutely monumental accomplishment that actually changed the game at its core and turned Skyrim into a completely brand new experience. It's called True Directional Movement Modernized Third Person Gameplay. Check it out, alright? Watch very closely. You can now spin in place. I rest my case. Mic drop. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. So this mod aims to achieve perfect 360 degree movement. Now you might be wondering, but MXR, do you have Alzheimer's? This is like the fifth time we've done this. While the other mods have always been quick fix solutions, illusions, but not actual 360 movement. For example, 360 movement behavior is apparently sexist and makes females move slower, which is unfortunate since 99% of us are playing females as of now. 360, Walk and Run Plus are just rotated animations. You know, don't think we're not onto you. And 360 Combat doesn't work with custom races. And then here we are with this mod, complete 360 sprinting. Bet you've never seen that before in nine years of modding Skyrim. Do you even believe your eyes right now? Cause I fucking don't. In fact, as I evade this wolf in complete 360 combat, I cannot even believe that this is still Skyrim. Please try and do this in your game, or any of the editions of Skyrim, or with any of the other 360 mods, and tell me how that works out. And of course it comes with other features typical to these Dark Souls-y type mod packs, but just done to absolute perfection. For example, Target Lock. This is the smoothest Target Lock available on the market right now. It actually tries to avoid awkward camera angles and nausea movement when you're too close to the target, and can easily switch between enemies just by moving your mouse, or using a dedicated left right hotkey. It's very consistent, although occasionally you will miss a point blank swing. That's fine, you know, it, it happens. And what's also extremely nifty is that when you kill a target, it will automatically switch to your next one. This mod is smart, right? It's a little too smart, it's scary. Not to mention, it's just so beautifully done, right? Look at this floating health bar, and tell me you would not believe that that came from the of themselves. But that and the targeting thing, extremely aesthetic, matches the aesthetic of Skyrim very well. And it's also highly functional and customizable. You can actually see how much damage you've done and how much of the health bar has actually damaged because of it. And you can make either the border, the name, or the level a turn red if that enemy is a much higher level than you. Because you are join. the John Pfizer of your health bar customizer, as Chef John would say. Oh, and not to mention, bosses now have boss health bars, which is totally not reminiscent of Dark Souls or anything, but it's a really nice idea. Sorry, Camille, gotta demonstrate the fact that house owners, for some reason, are also bosses of their own home, which is very nifty, very cool. And don't forget, ranged combat can also be locked on as well. There are actually a few options of how this could work. Free aim, which actually unlocks the camera and allows you to aim freely whenever you pull out your weapon. Predictive, which doesn't always predict uh, where the enemy is going. 
gives it its best shot, you know, which is usually absolutely terrible. Or you could use homing, which kind of feels like you're cheating, or you're some kind of, I don't know, F-1 fighter jet in the sky room of homing missiles. But then again, I am fighting a dragon, which isn't the best example of the locking on. And of course, for the full game-changing experience, you should also get mods that help you commit to strikes and keep you swinging in one direction. For example, Sky SA, Elder Scrolls, and the Ultimate Dodge mod, which turns Skyrim into this. Which is pretty much Dark Souls. But like actual Dark Souls, not just imitation. And there are a bunch of other features. Horse trotting has always been dog shit, okay? It's a lot less dog shit now. And some interesting features like pressing space to go up in the water, and then letting it go to get above the surface. The Guys, over for today. Oh, fucking course. Someone fucking stole my car. Someone stole my car. I'm gonna steal someone else's car. Oh, Give me that. Right. Give me. Get out. Let's head home.